Now, it is a little bit grainy because it is pitch black outside, but with our cameras that we've got up on the Mara River here, we have got a little bit of light left over to show you what's going on, and we've got a buffalo to show you. Now, Cape Buffalo, of course, were very common in the Sabi Sands a year or two ago, and then the big drought coupled with the Inkahuma lions camping out, basically at Juma Camp, eradicated almost every single buffalo that there was living over there. And, uh, and now I'm told that you haven't seen a buffalo in quite some time. And when you did, one sacrificed itself to those two males that you saw just the other day. Now, here in the Mara, it is uncommon for lion to catch buffalo. You obviously do hear about lion eating buffalo. Uh, about 10% of their diet is made up of buffalo, with 50, over 50% 50 of their diet made up of wildebeest. And uh, about... 20% of their diet, I think, made up of, of uh, zebra. An interesting statistic I was reading today uh, on cheetah, funnily enough, in that female cheetah and female cheetah with cubs will over 40% of their diet target Thompson's gazelle. Uh, male cheetah and male cheetah in coalitions will be over 40% of their diet will be wildebeest. And that is what we've been seeing quite often. Lions, on the other hand, over 40% of their diet is made up of wildebeest with about half of that made up of zebra. And then below 10% is made up of everything else. And by everything else, I mean buffalo like this bull buffalo you're having a look at right now. Even things like hippopotamus, elephant, all fall prey to lion on occasion. Isn't that just lovely seeing this? Those dots in the river that you're looking at, every now and again you see one open up its face. Those are hippo. They're busy yawning and getting active at the moment. What's quite funny is last night, way before this time, the hippo were already moving uh, out, of the, out of the river. Tonight it seems that they have decided that it's slightly better for them to stay in the river for a while before going out. Whoopsie. That was all our river cams just switched off for some reason. It's left there for a second. Now these flycatchers are perched on this little tree. I'm almost certain they're flycatchers, but you know what? I think 